video i am going to demonstrate the process of defect notification in quality management module of sap the quality defect notification in sap can be used to analyze defect identified and perform the root cause analysis let us see how it is done in the sap system so we will switch over to the sap eg access scheme for this notification creation it is essential to have a supply order against which the supplier will supply the goods and then lot will be generated and the inspection will be carried out so first we will create the supply order purchase order the t code for this is me 21 n press enter key you will get a purchase order creation screen in this screen we will first enter the name of the vendor from whom the material is will be purchased we will enter the detail of the purchasing organization here purchasing group here company code and press enter key then in the line item we will enter the item which is to be procured the plant in which this material will be used for production the quantity and the storage location press enter key now check the correctness of the supply order there is no error we will save it since this item was configured for source inspection so a work list of source inspection will be created let us go and view the work list of source inspection for this the t code used is qi07 name of the vendor order code of the vendor material press execute button see this is the work list for source inspection using this work list we will create the inspection lot save it thus the inspection lot is created we will go to the t code qa32 to view the inspection lot material press execute button see here a lot has been generated for 15 quantity my supply order was of 15 quantity date is 12/8 select this lot and directly go for result recording in fact this job will be done by the quality assurance authority press the result button here we will see there are in fact two characteristics which is 
to be inspected first is the surface finish and it is found that it is not up to the mark so it is rejected and the second characteristic is the paint thickness it is found to be conforming to the standard so thickness is accepted okay since the material is failed because of the non conformity of surface finish of the paint so the inspection authority will press the defect operation button so that notification may be created report type which report type we will use for this defect notification we have to select it press continue button now we have to mention the code under which this type of defect false so we will use the code and code group to perform this activity see there is a problem in the surface so we can take the code 2 for informing that there is a problem in the surface we will record the detail surface finish of the paint is poor we will select it and press the activation of notification we will set the priority also whether the defect is very serious or medium or low press the continue button notification activation has taken place now we will continue our notification processing we will save it now this notification which was created by the quality assurance authority will go to the user and user will start taking action against the material we will select the code notification further we will again go to the same screen of notification processing here the subject will be entered for the problem it is done by the quality assurance people it is a soft floor problem because it is observed that surface of the component was not clean or quality of 
पेंट में आल्सो बी बेड After entering the subject, we will save it. We will enter the partner who will be responsible for leading the team of defect analysis. will select the partner we will select the partner and then go back now the notification will be processed by the qc and the user team they will see the subject and go for processing save it here once again and go for further processing select the item and record the detail of the defect first we have to enter the location at which location the defect is found so it is found at the top of the surface of the component what was the cause of this defect analysis has been done and it is found that it is due to the damaged surface of the component damaged surface of the material was not oily then what tasks it required to avoid this in future corrective action we will take the corrective action we will choose from general task we will clean we will say that surface is to be cleaned before applying the paint now select the and press the release button it is released now select go to activities what activity is being done for ensuring this task so corrective action a note has been issued to the quality to the production people information to the production that ensure the surface cleaning and do the visual inspection of the surface carefully after doing this we will save the notification 
so notice notification defect has been identified and the root cause analysis has been done now the qc and the qa head will review with they will go to item and review it and release the task means they will confirm that yes the action taken is satisfactory go to task go to task select the item and go to task select it and release it for taking the action so that in future this type of defect may not occur so it is already taken so now we will finalize it okay it is final now we will move to the next activity in which the quality assurance people will mention that this notification is now closed so for this we'll go to item select the item and then task select the task and say it is complete yes now the the notification is closed one more thing i wanted to clarify here that these notifications and the defects which have occurred during the course of production can be analyzed using the tool failure mode effect analysis this is the tool which is provided by the sap to increase the productivity of the organization by reducing the occurrence of defect during the production in my next video i will describe the code and code group thank you